We start our today's session on the fundamental requirements of protective relays, which are also applicable in electrical power transmission line, power generation, and specifically power distribution and utilization. Uh, before we start today's session, so I'm uh, requesting the device to please confirm my voice is clear and screen appear on your screen as well. Please confirm. Ji, sir, awaaz bhi saaf aa rahi hai aur screen bhi sahi nazar aa rahi hai. Thank you very much. We further continue today's session about the protective ring selection criteria and all the possibilities by which we can choose the protective relay for our power system, transmission lines, power generation. as well as power distribution and utilization aspect the principal function of protective relay is cause the promote removal from service of any element of the part system of the power system when it starts to operate in an abnormal manner or interface with the effective operation of the rest of the system we all know about when the system is in work in normal operation and instead of the abnormal manner so the relay work on its operational but when the abnormalities create produce in the power system then during this abnormality the short circuit fault current could be produced and the protective relay further would be operated but before that selection criteria of protective relay is also an essential and important aspect without the proper selection criteria we are not able to detect the fault in or within time so it is an essential and important aspect in order that protective relay system may perform this function satisfactorily it should have the following qualities that the selectivity of the system should be uh too much sensitive selectivity which means the proper working response and respond within time and without delay you can say so we now we discussing about the selectivity of the protective relay r it is the ability of the protective system to select correctly that part of the system in trouble if the system of part integrated part subdivision of part are would be in trouble and disconnect the fault part without disturbing the rest of the system then then further the protective relay would be work and during the trouble or during the trouble scenario the relay would disconnect the faulty part at that moment without disturbing the rest of the system which means the rest remain system can also be prevent from the fault short circuit and abnormal current and abnormalities that is produced by the fault so is an it is an essential aspect to select the protective relay on this the principle a well designed and efficient relay system should be selective as an example it should be able to detect the point at which the fault occurs and cause the opening of the circuit breakers closes to the fault 
to the minimum or no damage of the system. And it is also very essential aspect that when fault is created, the protection scheme or protection equipment of system should be near to the fault. So it, it will operate in the quick way without any delay. And system would be prevent from the faulty conditions. This can be illustrated by referring to the single line diagram of a portion of a typical power system as shown in below diagram. It, it may be seen that the circuit breakers are located in the connections to each power system elements in order to make it possible to disconnect only the faulty section. So it's an important aspect. <clears throat> Then what will happen if the system in between of part it got trouble by the fault condition? Then what will happen? That power, the power flow cannot be flow in series way from the side. So that's the reason we need to make a, a integrated system parallel ways of power flow by the bus coupler ways so then it the fault will be removed and electrical power system can be uh, electrical power electricity can be flow by provision path it cannot be flow from the uh, faulty equipment because it's set down due to the fault condition thus if fault occurs at the bus bars at the last zone then the only circuit breaker near is to fault would be operate that would be in 10 11 to 13 should be open these are the operating uh, circuit breaker numbers in fact opening of any circuit breaker to clear the fault will lead to the greater part of the system being disconnected the figure which i am talking about is that in this system you can see the protective relays how can it operate it starts from the generating uh, generating station at which the protection scheme at generator protection location can be installed out there and this two generators are also we make synchronized become one source into a single bus by the synchronization technique meanwhile the protective relays protective protection circuits and protection equipment can also be installed there the numbering of one Two, three onwards till 13, from eight to eight. till 13 are the production equipment which operate during the fault conditions and in meanwhile you can see at the same movement the zones the zones which are also linked with each other are mutually share their part of power flow and equipment Equipments. Yes, uh, someone ask a question, please. Uh, someone raise a hand, iPhone, please ask your. Sir, wo galti se, galti se hai, yeah, sir. Sorry, sir. So, to usko low hand karna, wahi option bhi hoga usko. Okay, okay, sir, main bhi kar. Thank you, sir. Okay, ji, further generator protection. Uh, we are discussing about the generating protection zone, which are mutually share with the low voltage switch gear protection this zone are called and further it's mutually sharing their content with each other and the you can say this zone are also mutually overlapping exclusively share their protection equipment and protection scheme with each other this zone with this one and this zone with this one the other number is not mentioned here but uh, we uh, easily understand that the whole Centralized zone also share overlap with each of four one. One, two, three, and four are shared with each other. In the same time, this overlapping of zone of power transformer of uh, the power transmission primary line also linked with each other by the transformers and also mutually overlapping with each other by this way and this one as well. The power after the power transformer the high voltage switch gear protection also be implemented there at which the overlapping zone to zone also be out there and the central zone 
or the location on the bus coupler also be built in there. This scenario can also be made in this location as well. So it's up to us that what kind of protection topology we follow by the overlapping scheme of power system protection in this way, this way, and this way even also. After that, the pop transmission line protection scheme also be implemented here. This one we can say the power transmission primary side or secondary side we can say by which the several kilometers of transmission line would be followed or would be going through from this side and all over the protection scheme is out there. At the end, the high voltage switch gear protection also be out there in which the, low, in which the zone is overlapping with each other in each of one of uh, 10 towards 13, uh, the five zones are overlapped with each other. So up till now, you are requested to read this one and understand it by yourself. I also explained this. And if you have any kind of question, please discuss. I am taking a short one minute of break here. And please see this thing. Okay, further we are also start and moving towards the next aspect up till now any one of you if you have any kind of question query difficulty please feel free to discuss i will answer the kind of question and resolve your queries if you have in your mind so the protection scheme uh, selectivity and all the kind of parameters aspect which is related to the selectivity of protection equipment in electrical power transmission side, generation side, and distribution utilization, high voltage side, all the kind of parameter also based on the selectivity of protection relay, which is installed in electrical power systems as well. In order to provide selectivity of the system, it is usual practice to divide the entire system into several protection zones. So we already seen this thing, how much it share and overlap with each other. The scenario of statement can also be seen in this way. When a fault occurs in a given zone, then only the circuit breaker within that zone will be open. This will isolate only the fault circuit or apparatus. Leaving the healthy circuit in, uh, intact the system can be divided into following protection zones, which we already discussed in generators, low tension switch gears, transformers, high tension switch gears. In high tension switch gear can also be called switch yard. Uh, this term I already told you guys in my previous lectures. And further, the transmission, power transmission, and which is an essential important aspect in electrical power system. Without transmission line, the electricity cannot be transported from sending end to the destination. This all we know about the concept. That there is a certain amount of overlap between the adjacent protection zones for a failure within the region where two adjacent zones overlap. More circuit breakers will be open than the minimum necessary to disconnect the faulty section. But if there is, uh, there were no overlap, which means there is a no mutually exclusively share the content of protection with each other. That's the meaning of no overlapping. A failure in the region between zone could not lies in either region. So the fault aspect cannot be shared with each other, which means if it's isolate with each other, the fault category, the categorically the fault produced in the region can also be sustained here only. This part have no 
kind of interference with this one and the fault can only be bear by this zone so overlapping the failure of the region between the zone would not would not lie in either region and therefore no breaker would be open for this reason a certain amount of overlap certain amount of overlap means this one kind of overlap is provided between the adjacent zones adjacent means the neighboring zones this one is the mutual sharing overlapping with each another now coming towards the speed the relay system should disconnect the faulty section as fast as possible for the following reasons electrical apparatus may be damaged if they are made to carry the faulty currents for a long time a failure on the system leads to the great reduction in the system voltage if the faulty section is not disconnect quickly that means the sustainable fault be available in the system then the low voltage created by the fault may shut down uh consumers directly because the fault can automatically reach to the consumer end circuit which means the low voltage end motors and generators on the system may become unstable during if the fault cannot be entertained by your uh said suggest protection scheme protection ways then the unstability would be reach from generator to power transmission line and even in the load utilization and so the speed of detecting a fault and operation operation implement of the same time by the protection equipment of circuit then this scheme of topology would be the best way the high speed relay system decreases the possibility of development of one type of fault into other more saver type now moving towards the after speed consequences now it also be reach to the selectivity or oh sorry sensitivity the two major concept of related to the sensitivity is more sensitive and less less sensitive so system could be uh would be very much balanced if the equipment sensor control modules and protection scheme is best if its selection of protection scheme is sensitive which means the more sensitive more sensitive means it it provide the output response in fast way of track and less sensitive means the sensing by the relay by the protection scheme by the protection topology by the protection network is too much slow or cannot be able to detect the kind of fault during its time because of the less sensitivity it is not a suitable solution for selectivity and sensitivity now moving towards the description about sensitivity it is the ability of the relay system to operate with low value of actuating quantity actuating quantity means the working by electrical to mechanical operation is called the actuation sensitivity of relay is a function of volt ampere and volt to the coil of relay necessary to cause the operation which means if the kind of fault current is produced and sensed by the relay the relay sense that particular fault by its limit of capacity when a certain capacity of sensing cross by this limit then relay or protection equipment can sense amid and if its capacity of boundary cannot cross by sensing of the equipment quantity by the relay by the network by the topology protection scheme then we can say it is too much 
less sensitive and cannot be operated at the same time. The smaller the volt ampere input required to cause relay operation, the more sensitivity sensitive the relay, which means it detects on time and within certain kind of fault. Thus, a one VA relay volt ampere become a power and a combination of voltage and ampere relay more sensitive than three uh, VA relay. So I think you got my point. One VA is more sensitive as compared to three VA because it sends the least amount of VA value as compared to the three VA value because it is a large value. If a fault occur in between them, so what do you think? What kind of relay could be operated? Either it is a one VA or either it is a three VA. Between them, what kind of relay be operate? What do you think? Sir, two ampere relay hoga phir. Uh, main, main thoda aur asan kar deta. Dekhen, ek fault agar hua hai, jo sensitivity one VA mein agar ho sakti hai. Aur ek fault agar hua hai, three VA ki relay ke upar. Lekin, matlab, agar is level ka fault diagonal direct to sakta hai, aur is fault ki value ka agar fault diagonal direct to sakta hai. So, ye jo one VA ki relay hai, ye itni sensitive hai ke one VA ko sense kar sakti hai. Or obviously baat hai, three VA ko bhi sense kar hi sakti hai. Kyunki jab fault one ka hai, to usko bhi sense kar legi. Three ka aaya hai, to one wali bhi kar legi. Lekin agar kisi ki sensitivity itni hai ke jab fault aaye, to wo sirf three VA ki hi sense kar sakti hai, wo relay of scheme. To kya wo do ki kar sakti hai aur ek ki kar sakti hai? What do you think? ये चीज जो सेंसिटिविटी को जाहिर करती है इसको मैं एक्सप्लेन कर देता हूं चलें मजीद वन बीए की जो रिले है वो इतनी सेंसिटिव है कि वो वन बीए का भी सेंस कर लेगी लेकिन वो थ्री बीए को भी सेंस कर लेगी क्योंकि थ्री तो लेस है ना वन से वन जो रिले सेंस कर सकती है वन को तो वो थ्री को भी सेंस कर सकती है लेकिन एक रिले की सेंसिटिविटी इतनी है कि वो Less sensitive, I mean, it's only three VA can sense kar sakti hai. So, bhai, uske liye ye ability ya ability usme nahi hogi ke wo three ke less than ko detect kar sakhe. Haan, three wali four ho kar sakti hai. Three wali five ho kar sakti hai. Three wali ten ho kar sakti hai. Lekin three wali two or one ko nahi kar sakti. Kyunki ye less sensitive hai. Ye more more sensitive uh, nahi hai, less sensitive hai. Kisi tarikhe se, agar रिले या एंटिटी आ जाती है 2 बीए की और आपके पास जो पावर आई है वो आई मीन पावर आपकी 2 बीए की आई है तो सेंसिटिविटी ये वाली ऑपरेट करेगी या ये वाली 1 बीए की ऑपरेट करेगी या 3 बीए की ऑपरेट करेगी आपके पास जो एंटिटी आई है वो 2 बीए की है सर वो 3 बीए वाली से करेगी क्योंकि वो ज्यादा कर सकती कम नहीं कर सकती जी ये गलत जवाब है बिल्कुल मैं इसको दोबारा थोड़ा वजाहत से बता देता हूं कि बिल्कुल ऐसे ही है कि जो शख्स या जो रिले 1 बी ए की एंटिटी को मेजर कर रहा है तो वो इतनी सेंसिटिव है कि वो 1 को तो कर ही सकती है लेकिन वो 2 और 3 को भी कर सकती है लेकिन जो 3 वाली है उसके लिमिट स्टार्ट ही हो रही है 3 से तो वो 3 या उसके आगे से सेंस करेगी उससे पीछे नहीं कर सकती तो वो इतनी सेंसिटिव नहीं है वो लेस सेंसिटिव है तो जिसकी लिमिट जितनी ज्यादा कम है वो उतनी ज्यादा एक्यूरेट है उतनी ज्यादा सेंसिटिव भी है इसका मतलब 1 बीए वाली 2 को सेंस कर सकती है 3 को भी सेंस कर सकती है 4 को भी कर सकती है लेकिन 1 बीए वाली 0.5 को नहीं कर सकती ठीक है सर ठीक है ठीक है और जी और थोड़ा मजीद आखिरी वाले को बताता हूं तो 3 बीए वाली है वो 3 से आगे को सेंस करेगी उस वो 3 आगे को करेगी 4 को 5 को लेकिन 2 और 1 को नहीं कर सकती क्योंकि वो uh, jo sensitive hai wo less sensitive hai aur ye more sensitive hai. this is the concept of sensitivity okay ji it is a desirable that relay 
system should be sensitive so that it operate with low values ab jab wo sensitive hogi to low value ko sense kar sakegi aur iska matlab ke wo less sen ke wo more sensitive hai jab wo sirf sense kar sakti hai sirf badi value zyada value ko to iska matlab wo less sensitive hai more sensitive matlab स्मॉलेस्ट और माइन्यूट वैल्यूज ऑफ फॉल्ट को भी वो सेंस कर सकती है तो ये कॉन्सेप्ट है सेंसिटिविटी का बाय द सिलेक्शन ऑफ योर प्रोटेक्टिव रिले इन इन इलेक्ट्रिकल पावर सिस्टम स्पेसिफिकली फॉर पावर ट्रांसमिशन लाइन पावर जनरेशन लाइंस एंड योर प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी पावर ट्रांसमिशन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन लाइन फर्दर Now, बाकी जो कॉन्सेप्ट हमारे रह गए रिलायबिलिटी सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट दोटेक्शन सिलेक्शन क्राइटेरिया फॉर प्रोटेक्टिंग रिले वेन यू चूज अ रिले पर्टिकुलरली यू नीड टू बी सिलेक्ट द रिले विच इज रिलायबल इट इज द एबिलिटी ऑफ रिले सिस्टम टू ऑपरेट अंडर दी प्री डिटर्मिंड कंडीशन प्री डिटर्मिंड कंडीशन are those condition conditions in which we can detect the fault its predetermined state meanwhile which means that when fault is create its after shock would be create before its fault or the least instant of time the impact of that fault would be create would be produced which is sensed by predetermined conditions of relays so that's the reason in most of the relay the predetermined states predetermined operations also be out there in electrical power protection relays without the reliability the protection would be rendered largely ineffective and could even become a liability so jab aap bagair reliability ke ek relay प्रोटेक्शन इक्विपमेंट सेलेक्ट कर लेंगे तो ये याद रखें कि अगर उसकी रिलायबिलिटी नहीं हुई तो वो फॉल्ट की ड्यूरेशन में काम नहीं करेगी सिस्टम ऑफ रिले प्रोटेक्शन शुड बी सिंप्लिसिटी द रिलेइंग सिस्टम शुड बी सिंपल सो दैट इट कैन बी इजीली मेंटेन रिमेंबर दिस थिंग रिलायबिलिटी इज क्लोजली related to simplicity if a system is reliable then which means it could be a simple simple system have less complexity and it have the durability reliability for a long span of time so that's the reason if a system is simplify it should be a reliable ability to close related to simplicity the simpler the protection scheme the greater will be its reliability so remember this thing now moving towards the last point which is related to the finance of selectivity of an equipment the most important factor in the choice of particular protection scheme or the particular protection equipment for electrical power transmission line power generation lines and distribution utilization line is the economic aspect so economic aspect is an important and essential term which is related to the finance related aspects and when a someone to buy a protection scheme someone who install a protection scheme it also look before installation the financial state of the equipment if an equipment is too much expensive then buyer could be a would be a challenging aspect for a buyer that to choose a particular protection scheme because some of the time a protection scheme is too much costly and some of the financer cannot invest their funds in that particular protection schemes because of its high cost effects sometimes it is economically unjustified sometimes you suggest then protection scheme but it is not justified that why this equipment we use why this equipment use but it have the high value of uh, cost so we need to justify 
and satisfy the jury that to why we select the particular protection equipment. Every brand have its unique prospect, but selectivity, choose, economy is an also an important essential aspect to select the protection equipment. When it's unjustified to use an ideal scheme, the protection and a compromise method has to be adopted. Uh, it's an important aspect as well. When there is a there is a barrier of economy that you cannot buy an expensive equipment for a protection scheme, then you need to adjust and accommodate with the least value of protection scheme and adopt that particular method to compromise, to compromise on the cost value. Because in most of the time, cost is an important factor by which we cannot buy a too much expensive equipment. Either it is a good protection scheme, but some of the time the pocket cannot allow to buy an expensive protection scheme. It's an essential aspect. As a rule, the protective gear, that switch gear, should not cost more than 5% of the total cost. Remember this one. However, when the apparatus to be protected is of at most important, as an example for generator, main transmission line, and even also for trans distribution lines, economic considerations are often subordinated to the reliability as well. So we all know this thing that the expensive equipment of protection have a long span of life as compared to the cheap protection scheme. Cheap means it is in less value of cost than the customer cannot moving towards the high value of protection equipment. Customer always buy a cost effective protection scheme of value. Uh, it is same that when you going to market and buy a circuit breaker, there are many kind of circuit breaker, the brand of Hager, AVB, and the Chint circuit breakers of brand and Schneider, and uh, made in France is Terasaki made in Japan and further Schneider is the made in France brand. So you need to choose an economical protection scheme. You are not allowed to use an expensive equipment, only a circuit breaker in your power system just for the protection purpose, but you need to select the particular value of switchgear power system protection equipment, which work within the time. Obviously, the high cost value have many kind of features by which it prevent from the fault. Either it is a symmetrical or unsymmetrical faults, but an expensive power system protection equipment has the ability to handle all the kind of lighter and higher value of fault scenarios. Okay, further up till now, the selective selectivity of uh, criteria to choose a protection circuit relay. So this concept is end in here. Up till now, if you have any kind of question or query, uh, please feel free to discuss. Then we further relab, uh, further discuss the reliability and sensitivity aspect further. Hopefully all the things are clear. Then we further moving towards the next aspect related to the reliability of power system of selective equipment for protection relays for electrical power transmission lines, power generation lines, and even primary secondary distribution lines. So reliability, the level of assurance that the relay will function as intended. Reliability donates dependability. Because the one system is integrated or interconnected with other, so its uh, dependability also relates with each other. So I'm taking a short break of one minute. Please uh, discuss these things by yourself.
sorry for the interruption we further moving towards the reliability aspect of uh, selectivity of protection equipment uh, related to the power transmission line and further so on the streams the level of assurance that the relay will function intended which means during the fault condition the reliability denotes during the fault condition dependability system is integrated and interconnected with each other so they are operate in during the fault condition and shut down automatically with series of ways one another certain of correct operation security assurance against incorrect operation should also be there further the sensitivity issues with the protective relays also be out there that the relaying equipment must be sufficiently sensitive so that it will operate when required bus this discriminate normal from abnormal condition so it should be there that uh, in previous scenarios of Uh, practical in in our lab, we are selecting the protection relays. Okay. Further, we are uh, we will discuss about the relaying equipment. must be sufficiently out there oh uh, sorry i was discussed about the that discrimination should be out there in, during the normal and abnormal conditions in i was discussed with also with you guys that uh, when we are performing a practicals in our electrical power labs so there is a voltage sensitivity out there in over voltage and under voltage relays in over voltage under voltage volt levels in which we are substantially high and low the voltage and select the fault conditions in nominal and abnormal condition so it it it's up to the user by which it it select the equipment either this condition which is in 400 volt it is a nominal condition or abnormal condition it's, it's up to you so if we select that 400 is an over voltage so when a device when get the kind of voltage supply by the utility is 400 it sense that it is an abnormal condition so it going to be trip the whole circuit switch gear so it's up to user that provide the kind of discrimination set parameter to the protection relay that what kind of voltage are the over voltage nominal operation and abnormal so it's it's a common sense of thing but the discuss point also be out there further the selectivity performance of protective devices to select between those conditions for which prompt operation and those for which no operation or time delay operation is required Burden doesn't also be out there on which the operation is done or time delay would be happened during the operation. So it is the it is reflect the idea about less uh, the poor selectivity of the or choose choosing the wrong equipment at a certain pressure time. or you can say the poor selectivity of set point adjustments by your setting as a user isolate faults circuit resulting in minimum interruption so it's a self sufficiency self explanatory point and implemented through zone of protection out there zone of protection also be we can many time discuss the overlapping zone protection zone overlapping mutually exclusive zone of overlapping concepts already we seen speed of uh, happening of protection equipment remove a fault from the power system as quickly as possible so it's related to the speed removal aspect of fault or prevent the prevent the, the fault from system or system of prevent from the fault 
moving towards the classification that instantaneous which means no intentional delay which means to work at the least instant of time is be called instantaneous and some of the relay are named by its over current instantaneous relays we already seen this thing in our previous courses as well the highest speed which means the less than 3 cycles of uh, your fault or signal of utility after that while the fault would be detected and the third one is time delay operation so we provide the intentional time delay in the system it is also the important point is it is it necessary to provide the intentional time delay in a system intentionally is it possible yes it is possible because intentionally we provide the delay because in some of the time the starting of system can be work on instability like refrigerator start working in unstable mode the transient would be there of 1 to 3 seconds so system of refrigerator or deep freezer can be reach out there after the transient instability towards the stability and this is the operation way on which the refrigeration system work so the intentional time delay is required to monitor that particular relay and after 3 seconds 4 second if the instability is out there and it remove from 3 second then that delay would be acceptable so by this reason by this way of classification causes and recommendation b get the intentional time delay otherwise intentional time delay is not required in our existing systems because it's if we if like a, if a dead short circuit produce in a system and you provide an intentional delay in adjustable circuit breaker like 3 or 4 seconds during 3 to 4 second it will burn out your terminal of circuit breaker if a dead short circuit produce in your existing system due due to the symmetrical or unsymmetrical fault so at this instant of condition state of condition the intentional delay is not acceptable in any cost even 1 second of delay is also not acceptable in this scenario of dead short circuit so because it's a very harmful and will cause of fire and the dead fire kind of say we can say the term so the intentional time delay cannot be accepted acceptable during these kind of features or aspects so further this one is the last slide of our today's session element of protection systems in our uh, aspect of power generation systems and electrical power transmission system and distribution line as well that current and voltage transformers also be out there for sensing or protection equipment uh, uh, these are we called uh, instrumentation transformer or instrument transformer by which we can sense observe the value of current and voltage so ctpts are installed there for the purpose of sensing current and sensing voltages after that the protection relays we all know that in electrical power transmission lines antennas is an important aspect but for the creation of fault and how to prevent the system of transmission from fault and how to trace a system of fault after the fault and it when cause of damage the system the impedance relay and distance relay is installed in the electrical power transmission line to detect the fault further the circuit breaker circuit breaker is an also essential aspect and but it is a challenging aspect you know you very well know where we need to install that particular circuit breaker so it's a science to install a circuit breaker because it is a many kind of circuit breaker types of circuit breaker that mcb mcb acb ocb bcb gcb the kind of circuit 
trigger what kind of you use as a medium for high voltage or low voltage or high current or low current. Batteries are also the pro uh, provide the protection scheme as a backup way of supplies when a utility can can go or utility is interrupt due to some kind of certain aspect. So during uh, due to this aspect, most of the protection scheme are supplied by the batteries due to this reason and for its preventive maintenance and preventive uh, exchange or replacement of batteries in industry, the concept of batteries out there as a backup supply to protection scheme, batteries out there in, in industries and commercial sector as well. Fuses are also plays an important role uh, as an element of protection systems in our electrical pass uh, transmission line is an HL like HRC fuses, high repairing capacity fuses. They played their very well uh, aspect during the fault condition. It burn out. It cannot be operate after one time of burnout. You, you need to replace it as like a conventional glass fuse, ceramic fuse or HRC fuse is fits up to you. Further, the lighting arresters and uh, surge arrester out there as a protection equipment and uh, lightning arrester can prevent the system from lightning and surge arrester prevent the system by high voltage or high current surges.